welcome to another Houdini tutorial today we are going to make uh, oil and fire kind of effect so for this let me just create one model uh, which is skull model I have downloaded from free website you can model your own or you can download from anywhere so we just call this file So this is like model, it's a quite big model. So let me just reshape or resize this. So for this, okay, I'm using this much. This is the size I'm going to use and just use null object. Okay. Next we are going to make a meter. So for the meter we are going to use a sphere. So let me just create sphere. This is our emitter for oil or fluid. And let me just change this to size point one, and I think. For transform, let me just go for and put it above this. Above its head. And let me put a little bit forward so that it flows forward. Then let's emit fluid from this object. So for this, let me just select particle and emit particle fluid and just enter. Okay. So it will create this big box. So for this we are going to resize this box so that it's in limited region so let me go for volume motion and here you can select 5 by 5 by 5 it's a very small section okay then for particle fluid I am just using very small number and uh, viscosity I am using around 5 and some friction so that it has uh, some stoppage in its motion then come to flip solver and we have to enable this flip solver here also viscosity so come here and enable viscosity and I think I have also used uh, surface tension so just enable this and use this blur also so try to contain this fluid and just use your pencil so that it simulate a little bit faster and sub steps I am using around 4 by 4 4 is enough 
okay so let's save this okay now we can just check this okay now you can see it's uh, making but it's not colliding so for collision uh, let me just use this skull object And we don't need particle continue you can delete this and come here and collision is to static object select okay and in here it means adjust skull settings so for this I am using Collisions volume. I'm using 0 0.001, and for this, I think I'm using surface. Concave. And for ground, let me just add one more ground plane. Okay. Uh, just you can disable this. So control S now if we look. Okay, so okay, so I have submitted some frames. So it's a thick fluid, so it takes time to come down. So you now you can see it's like breaking and have some thickness to it and if you want we can like add some velocity also so that it has some random effect so for this we can go to this emitter section and add some point velocities so if i go to point velocity and I can add curl and I can slow this value and it has some basic curl animation so now if I look for okay now you can see it has some fluid disturbance so it is not like fall flowing smoothly it has some this kind of flow and next is we need to like cache this out so that it uh, behaves a little bit faster because for that we need uh, now we have something like this Next is we need some uh, fire something to on this oil kind of animation. So for this, let me just simulate for fire. So come to this sparse fire and I think I have used this campfire select this select this and we don't need to like select this for this now we need to change the fire source so fire source we are going to use
just use uh, object merge and go for this fluid and select this center node and add to this so that act this fluid will act as a source now we can like set up these settings so i think i have used uh, for this i think i have used like very small particle separation and uh, or fire I think I have used some uh, default settings and little bit uh, changes in the values so I'm not going to load this value it will take much longer time but it will give you the higher quality results and I think I have uh, adjusted these size and shape also you can always adjust these i think i have not changed too much values you can do changes these values but i think i have used default values default looks good so let me just use sorry use this one and come here and let me just simulate this for a couple of frames so that we can go for next step okay i have simulated 41 frames yeah if you cache this fluid then it will simulate much faster because i am not caching and simulating so it will take much longer time so let's just set up for render so me just set up as uh, just decent frame and I'm just going to use V-Ray uh, if you guys want separate tutorials on V-Ray for Houdini you can comment on this so that I know with you on this kind of tutorial and I will try to make these tutorials also okay so let me set up for some settings and just some material and let me just this is for oil i think i have used uh, something like olive oil something like this and another i have used this is for skull and for fire i have used this so let me supply these three materials and for fire oil and for skull okay Okay, so fire is not coming, so we need something. Uh, we need to like tell this option uh, shader to which fire we want to use or which what is the name of this channel. So in this case, it's flame. 
so if I go to material and for color and this let me just use flame okay now if we render this we have flame Now you can see it has flame and it's coming like this. Uh, need to like shut off its default light. So, For color, I think I have used uh, ramp in this section. I think I have used uh, this is uh, I think I used white. Then I think I have used this cyan. And last, I think I used like purple. Something like this ramp. Yeah, something like this and if you think it's uh, like too bright you can always decrease this multiplier uh, so that it has some more colors or if you want like different color values you can always change the time Let's see okay so now I think it's done and just Simulate this render out, you will get your like oil kind of effect, oil and fire kind of effect. So, okay, and goodbye.